My name is Peter Williams. Uh, I work for Rico Europe. It's actually our first large AM device um, that we co-developed with a Japanese company called Aspect. It's launched, actually its first global um, presentation is here. We launched it a couple of weeks ago in Japan. We'll have it available in Europe um, mid next year. Its particular features are its uh, um, nylon materials, uh, PA6 and polypropylene, uh, and we expect uh, it's, it's getting great rave reviews here. Predominantly, the material application is very attractive to the automotive industry. That's where our first efforts will be, towards service providers and enterprise accounts in, uh, in the automotive business. There are also many other applications, um, aerospace for instance as well. We already have um, a large presence in, in, in the industrial segment. We, uh, we're experts in inkjet, we're experts uh, in optics, uh, we're experts in thermal paper, and we're experts in commercial printing for high-end printing applications. So I think Rico entering AM seriously with a branded device such as this is actually uh, is new for this business. And I think a lot of energy is around uh, the authentication of the business with a, with a company like Rico with the reach. Uh, we, have, uh, we have 22 operating companies in Europe. We have a service workforce of over 4,500. So I think this industry requires that level of investment and infrastructure to support the near and mid-term growth. Well, already we, we have a large investment. Um, our particular uh, approach to market um, is uh, through predominantly through services. Uh, we offer already in three sites globally, one, in, one of which is in Europe. We offer a full range of uh, AM 3D services, including uh, design consultancy, material selection, uh, device selection. We have a list of in-house and, and partnership agreements. Um, so we, we have invested uh, already significantly, but we recognize this market is moving so quickly. Further investment uh, is required. RICO has a history of, uh, of, of high-end industrial applications and following through with investment uh, with leading edge technology. And I see this uh, AM as being part of that strategy. In fact, we have a whole strategy in and around uh, industrial applications, and this, is a, this will be a core part of that. Well, the first development is to launch this device, and uh, uh, it's launched in Japan, it'll be available soon uh, in Europe, and so our primary interest is to develop ser a service infrastructure in and around um, the, uh, this product. We, we sell low-end devices, and I think our mid- and, and long-term uh, investments will be in a, a broader range of materials um, and also uh, new devices for unique applications. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll also um, are very interested in, uh, we have extremes in the product range. We have a high-end device, we have a relatively entry-level devices used for uh, mainly our education uh, vertical um, value proposition. And I see infilling that with, uh, with professional devices uh, over the coming months and quarters.